going? What's your name? Eric. Eric? Yeah. Where, where you from, man? I'm from uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Really? Uh, you, you grew up there? Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you have a mom and a dad? Okay. No. Mm -hmm. You grew up with your mom, or? or your My dad? mom was a prostitute, and I grew up with her. Yes. Your mom was. Yeah. What happened to your father? He was a Hell's Angels biker, and he was just kind of a piece of shit, so he didn't stick around. He, he was a Hell's Angels biker. Yeah, he was a biker, like gang member. Yeah. So, uh, did, did you graduate high school? I did, career tech, 2007, 2004. But, uh, do you play any high, any sports? Fuck no, I suck at sports. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you get, what kind of, what do you do, man? Any hobbies, skating, or? Uh, music. Music? Yeah, I was really good at the music. I taught the music class in there, because we, it was a uh, charter school, so it didn't have any, like, electives like that for people to just do something they enjoyed and get a little bit of credit for it. Oh, a charter school, huh? Yeah, so we did a drum class, a little guitar class, and stuff like that. I can show you some guitar. Yeah, man, that'd be cool. All right. I've just, I was just telling this guy that I smoked a bunch of hash today. And, um, you got any original song? Yes, all of them are original. All original? Yeah, I have a concert on the 28th at the Big Legrassi, too. On the 28th, you said? Yeah, at the Big Legrassi. Hope I won't be this big. Where, where's the Big LeBrow? Where's that at? Big LeGrowski. So it's like a growler joke. I think it's a play on words. It's oh. uh, on the Burnside Park where the elephant is. Or near Burnside in the park where the elephant is. I gotta tune it, man. Shit. I don't have time for all this, huh? Okay. Hold on a second. I'll get, you can do a little bit over 20 if you have to. I gotta tune it. At least the E. Is this one of those uh, what the fuck Portland channels where you're like, look at this retard? Nah, man, this is the. Uh, it's called Examining Portland. Can you erase the retard thing I just said? It's getting people's stories, man. Okay, well, I grew up in Las Vegas, Nevada. I went into foster care when I was about six years old because my mom did some stupid stuff she shouldn't have done involving fire. And uh, I grew up in foster care. I went to prison when I was 14. What'd you go to prison for, bro? I blew up a gas station. Uh, how long did you go? Four years. Four years. I went uh, from 14 to 19, almost 20. And I got, I think I got two years initially, and then I stabbed Paul Malloy in the lunchroom, the chow hall. You stabbed what? I stabbed Paul Malloy in the chow hall because he wouldn't let me eat. Who's that? He's a Mexican gang banging white dude. What is it? Yeah, this fool's like, I'm in a Mexican gang, but I'm the whitest person you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm not gonna be able to do this right now, dude. Yeah. That's cool, man. It's really embarrassing, actually. I'm usually very talented at that. That's cool. Wow. What, what, what do you do after you, you got out of prison, man? I had nowhere to go, so I did this whole like become homeless and start doing other criminal activities thing going on. Yeah, I sort of left, I lived with my friend Tyson's mom for a minute, and then I sort of, my family all gets uh, schizophrenia, the males do. So I started sort of getting a schizophrenic brain at like 21, 22, started happening to me. Which is just like hearing weird voices or people that you know. You know, like uh, saying incoherent things that you couldn't really decipher. And uh, thinking things that aren't real, associating things a lot, like you, this camera thing, I couldn't have this back then, when I was like super schizophrenic. It just would be weird, everybody, you know, you're super paranoid, you don't know that you're schizophrenic. And so you think that everybody's like on some weird plan to, you know, do something against you. And you start associating every event that happens, you know, as a negatively geared thing that's benefiting some power. Are you on medicine for that? I'm supposed to be on Geodon, but I take uh, none of it, I don't take it. Yeah. I was on lithium for a minute, but it, I don't know, man. I might be like loose and un, unable to associate really with anything, but at least I don't have to feel any pain, you know. So, uh, how was the foster care? Was that pretty horrible? It was terrible, dude. It introduced me to methamphetamine, which kind of destroyed my life. You want to explain a little bit about what happened? Um, I went to a lot of different foster homes. The first one I went to was the Clint Kelly and Rachel Hawes home. And um, I suppose I should be looking at the camera I am. And um, they sort of beat us and they were violent. And then I got transferred out of there because I did something. 
you know, they wouldn't kick me out when I said they were raping us and doing weird shit to us, so I acted out. And I went through several different foster homes until I got to uh, the Gene and Harvey Cole's house. And they were super cool. Uh, Harvey was a cop. He was like lieutenant of the Lincoln City Police Force. Police Force. Jeannie worked at the casino as a dealer. She was the mother. Um, that was good for a time, for like, you know, a couple months. And then they took my brother and my sister and put them in different states and different foster homes. So I lost my mom, my brother, my sister, and any sort of love that I would have felt at that time. From, right. Right then. And that's when I started getting depressed and being like a poor me type of dude, uh, person, you know? And that's like the worst thing you can do for yourself is being a poor me type of person. Because you'll just continue to do the same behaviors that you do that you know are wrong and that fuck your life up and that are horrible. If you're pitying yourself, you're doing, you're doing nothing. And uh, I'm just getting over pitying myself, so. I went to Hooper today to try and get into a detox program. Awesome. Yeah, they said I have to come back tomorrow because they didn't have any beds, but... You know, eventually it'll get in there and it'll sink in that I've got to stop. How did you get hooked on meth when uh, when you were in the foster care? Who, who introduced you to that? Uh, Trina Hawes, when I was 12. Is that your like, uh, foster mom or something? It was a uh, foster mother, yes. Yeah. Super weird because she was also like molesting the other the children there and stuff, the little boys. Which you don't hear about much, but it's a thing. She started uh, smoking dope with me, you know what I mean? Because she was doing all the other shit with the other one. I have no idea, to be honest with you, why she started doing that. <laughs> but uh, she did, and then her and Matt got in fights over it, and she broke up with Matt. And I went back to McLaren for some reason. Probably because I blew up that gas station. Oh, McLaren? Yeah, I went to McLaren in Hillcrest. Uh, I blew up a gas station and 27 cars in Lincoln City. When I was 14, with two other people, they told on me, and I didn't tell on them, so I did my sentence. I got like two and a half years, and then like I said, I stabbed Paul Malone, and I got another two or three, something like that. Aggravated assault. Which essentially, they just made it like, no definite end date, no release date. If I did well, I'd get out, if I didn't. What makes you want to go to Hooper to get clean? This, the whole thing. You're done with it, huh? I can't like function, dude. I can't even, I got lost over by Safeway earlier on me. <laughs> and it's not embarrassing, it's just funny to me that I'm that stupid, because I'm a highly intelligent person. I was like shuffling my bag around, throwing stuff for no reason, and like shit that you see people out here doing, and you're like, that guy's fucking weird. Yeah, I was doing that. <laughs> to the most. And I have a lot of friends here, I'm positive some of them have seen me do retarded that, shit. That's just from the math and do it? I mean, psychosis? It's from or schizophrenia mixed with it, you know? Oh. Yeah, so take like a hydrogen, or no, let's say an atom bomb, right? And make it like 10 times more deadly. That's how. Wait, no, no. It's, it's just, it's retarded. It makes me stupid. I don't sleep, and then I smoke weed, and then well, my well-articulated sentences turn into run-on, you know, ADHD, spastic shit. Sucks. What, 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 you, you have any life regrets, bro? Absolutely, dude. Doing meth ever in my life. That's your biggest yeah. meth? Yeah, and uh, loving my mother. Loving your mother? Yeah. What, is, is she still alive? I would assume so. I'd like to kill her. Though. I hate that bitch. <laughs> Truly, she ruined my life. Just because of the, the your childhood. I mean, yeah, yeah. So my mom tried to, like I said, she tried to light our apartment on fire when I was like six years old, and we got, we got taken away. And then after that, she kept saying she was going to come to these. Uh, they would have like sit-down visits in churches, supervised visits, and you know I'd go there with my brother. And uh, she'd never show up, you know. There's a picture of, of us as a ch when I was, right before she stopped like talking to us for, for good or whatever. There's a picture of us in that church. And my face is just blank, completely blank. My brother has a little bit of inflection there, but mine is just, yeah, there's nothing in there. It's weird. What, what, what kind of goals you got, man? Any plans for the future? Uh, yeah, you know, I want to detox, obviously, and then I'd like to uh, better myself as a person towards you know, people that I say I love. I'd like to be able to treat people with respect. If I say I care about them, I should do that. You know? I guess that's why I don't really say I care about anyway anymore. I just kind of Are you currently homeless or you got to play? I'm uh, never really homeless. You know, I, I have a friend's couch I can stay on, but uh -huh. it's manipulation and nothing, nothing cool. 
not paying rent. You, you plan to get a job or anything? I've How been trying, actually. I'm supposed to call this lady back right now, actually. But oh, cool, man. I was a low-voltage electrician, too, um, about three years ago. I worked for Florida. It was a tech system groups out of Florida. This guy was like a total douchebag. He underpaid the shit out of us. I started out as just like a grunt doing a recabling thing in Lowe's, where you just take down their old uh, Cat6 cables and all their internet routers. Yeah, I used to do that, man. You did? Yeah. Low volt? Yeah. It's cool, man. It's a decent wage. Yeah. Except for this dude didn't pay us very well. Yeah, that sucks. Hey, uh, what, why did you, when did you stop doing that? Uh, I did it back in the back east, man. Like New York? Uh, Washington, D.C. area. I did it in New Maine. York, Maine, Florida. Yeah. That's cool, man. I would also, I also regret not continuing that job. I did it for four years, became the lead, and then started doing drugs and quit. Because oh, wow. I had been sober for some period of time. So you, you got any, uh, any advice or any quotes you want to give anybody? Advice would be, um, keep your head down. Don't try and be anybody, Billy Badass, the smart kid, the funny kid. Don't be any of those things. Just be who you are inside. Be what makes you happy because pursuing anything else will just make you a madman. Cool, thanks man, I appreciate it. Yeah.